What is monoclonal protein, or an M protein, or an M spike, and how is it detected? That's actually a question I get asked in the clinic almost all the time. I mean, this is a protein that we can detect in the blood, but it really derives from something called an antibody. Um, myeloma at its core is a cancer of plasma cells, and uh, plasma cells are the body's natural factory for antibodies. So if someone uh, early in their childhood, for example, receives a vaccine to chickenpox or measles, or let's say they actually had chickenpox or measles, they will then go on to develop an immune response um, that one aspect of which is the development of a clonal memory or population of plasma cells. What that means is you have uh, a group, a small population of plasma cells in your body that make a specific antibody that targets, let's say, the chickenpox or the measles and helps protect you from subsequent infections because you have some amount of that antibody in your uh, blood. In a healthy person, the body usually makes many clones of many different plasma cells, which each make their own antibodies. These antibodies fight off many different diseases, and this is polyclonal because there are many clones of many distinct plasma cells. Myeloma is a cancer of plasma cells, and since it is derived from plasma cells, it also makes an antibody. And that, uh, the myeloma is also a clonal proliferation, meaning it's a proliferation or a multiplication of uh, the same cell, or a cell derived from the same plasma cell. And it therefore makes the same kind of antibody over and over and over again, and that we detect as a clonal spike in the blood uh, when we run something called an SPEP uh, on the blood. So in the blood, we can detect this uh, protein by some chemical properties. Basically, it, not to go into too much sort of wet chemistry, but we essentially run all of the blood proteins across an electrical gradient and they separate based on how how they travel through through a magnetic or I'm sorry electrical gradient uh, and you can detect uh, uh, a normal pattern something called polyclonal pattern on this thing called an electrophoresis a protein electrophoresis or you can detect a spike and that's where you have too much or of, of a specific clonal protein derived from these clonal plasma cells. On a bone marrow biopsy, what you're really looking for is uh, how the cells actually look. And there, um, you can't really detect the monoclonal protein or the M spike. What you do detect is the type of antibody. So these antibodies can come in several flavors. Um, and the flavors each have like a chocolate and a vanilla. So uh, what I mean by that is you can have an IgA antibody, an IgG antibody, um, IgE, IgD, IgM. Uh, and each one of those can have, as I said, chocolate and vanilla, but in our case we call them kappa and lambda. And if you have a polyclonal, meaning you don't have a clonal response, there's an expected ratio of kappa and lambda. Uh, that can be detected or essentially stained for in the bone marrow and, and visualized. If you have a clonal proliferation of or multiplication of plasma cells, then they tend to be all kappa or all lambda or that sort of normal ratio is, is significantly skewed toward one or the other. And that tells you that you have a clonal uh, process. One can look at this in a variety of different ways in a bone marrow. You can do that on a biopsy. Uh, and you can also do that on the aspirate as well, using something called flow cytometry. You can track your M protein as well as all your other myeloma labs at healthtree.org under the Myeloma Labs tab on the left side.